Uh, more than 1.7 million Ohioans self-identify as having a disability. But Governor Mike DeWine and other state leaders say that should not stop them from being able to really enjoy the Ohio State Fair. NBC4's Alan Henry is live at the State Fair grounds now with a look at how this year's fair is the most accessible and inclusive ever. Alan? Yeah, Jen, Jared, the hope is that everyone who comes to the Ohio State Fair is able to have a great time, even if they have a disability. Now, it's easier said than done, but state leaders say they've been able to do it. We want to make sure that every Ohioan, regardless if they have a disability, is able to enjoy all the great things here at the State Fair. From charging stations for wheelchairs to special areas for service dogs, the Ohio State Fair wants all Ohioans to know that they're welcome, even if they need special accommodations. We've been very mindful about making this every year more inclusive, bringing more people in, giving them the opportunity to come here and enjoy this, because it's something that you know we think everybody should be able to enjoy. State agencies have been working together to make it possible. We're partnering with uh, the Department of Public Safety about parking. We're, we're collaborating with the Department of Natural Resources for the new playground. Another partnership with the Ohio Department of Corrections, the Ohio Penal Industries. We work with them constructing low picnic tables so we have individuals who are in wheelchairs or in mobility uh, scooters will be able to, with their families, enjoy uh, some of the great fair food here. The state is also making a smartphone app available to blind fairgoers like Berna King. She used it this morning to connect with live agents, helping her navigate the fairgrounds. They use the camera on the phone to pan around and describe what's around you and uh, obstacles that may be in your way, maybe describe a table that you're, you're at and what is there, maybe read a sign for you. Um, so this is visual information that you couldn't get if you didn't have a sighted person with you. And if the sights and sounds of the fair are too much, a special sensory friendly morning will be held next Wednesday from 10 a.m. until 1. Everyone has agreed to turn down all the noise and all the lights, especially for uh, our fair goers who have sensory integration issues. And so uh, they'll be able to come out and enjoy the rides and be able to go through the midway and play games without uh, all the noise. Another great feature about all these accessibility features is that they cost absolutely nothing. So if you have a special accommodation you need help with here at the fair, well, there are teams of people ready and willing to help you once you arrive. Local for you at the Ohio State Fair, Alan Henry, NBC4.